I've been taking 50 milligrams of iodine a day for three months and I decided to make a bit of a change last week. The problem was that although I think I've seen improvements, the reason I was taking this high dose iodine, following the high dose iodine protocol, is because I seem to have um, symptoms of subclinical hypothyroidism. I was sleeping a lot, I felt very fatigued. I was sleeping nine or 10 hours a night. My weight had gone up a couple of stone and I just found it impossible to lose weight. Um, in the past, I've always found it quite easy to lose weight, but this weight has just not shifted. And my resting pulse rate had gone down to 50 beats a minute. Apparently this can be a sign of athleticism, but I just don't think that's the case with me. I also had problems with general, general sort of energy problem because I've always liked doing exercise. The exercise I was most interested in at the time was running and I found that I could not do, I didn't have the stamina for the running anymore. I could run for a bit, but if I ran, reg if I tried to run regularly, um, I would just sort of hit a wall. And this has been a real problem that I haven't been able to overcome. And instead, I've started doing other sports like uh, walking and hill walking and indoor climbing, which I love. And one thing I love about those is that they all have a sort of, this sort of inbuilt rest. You're not just doing the same sort of aerobic exercise non-stop for ages. Um, you do some exercise and then you have a rest and then you do a bit more and you have a rest. That's the kind of exercise that seems to suit me at the moment. Initially, I did see an improvement. My resting pulse rate has climbed to about the low 60s, sometimes the high 60s, um, but sometimes it swings back to the 50s. So it just doesn't seem to be very consistent. And that is reflected in my energy levels. Usually I sleep about seven hours a night, but um, if I do a lot of exercise, like a really tough hill walk, it does seem to take me a lot longer to recover. Many people say this is an age thing, but people who are the same age as me don't have these problems. And also the, rap the, the rapidity of which this has happened makes me think that there's something else affecting me. Initially, I had a lot of detox symptoms when I started doing this high dose iodine pro protocol. I had a lot of sort of trembly feelings and bouts of feeling nauseous and even mood swings, quite heavy, quite strong mood swings at times. And it was significant that, that would, those um, detox symptoms would just disappear when I did the salt loading protocol. That's when you take, um, you drink salty water. And the idea is that you're flushing out the toxins. Well, that seemed to really stop the detox symptoms. Those symptoms would come, come and go for the first few weeks but I have not had any of those for the past month at least, which is fantastic. And it does appear to me that the iodine process is working in that respect, but at the same time, it's as if the whole thing stagnated. I sort of, I feel as if it got better to a certain level and then it's just stopped. And I'm still taking very high doses, but it's not really having much of an effect. So I wondered whether there might be an absorption problem and somehow my system's not absorbing the iodine. And I decided to try taking Lugol's iodine instead. Lugol's is the original form of iodine. Lugol's isn't a brand name, it's the name of the, ke the French chemist who really disco discovered or created this type of iodine, which is a potassium iodide and iodine mixture. Iodorox or Iodorol tablets are basically Lugol's in tablet form, so I've been told. The reason I didn't start taking Lugol's in, in the beginning is because I was worried that it would affect my digestion because I dread that Lugol's can have caused stomach problems. But none of that's happened with me. I've had no digestive problems whatsoever. I've been taking two drops of, of this 12% Lugol solution because it comes in different strengths. And that is the equivalent of about 11, 11 milligrams of iodine every day. And I've been taking that as a solution, drinking it. A lot of people recommend painting Lugols on the skin topically. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Lugol's by drinking for this week and then next week I'm going to start applying it topically and to, just to compare the two ways and see which way suits me best. I believe that this hydrozyadine protocol is in the relatively early stages. I mean, people have been taking iodine for over a hundred years for all kinds of medical treatments, medical complaints, but this particular protocol has only been in use really for the past 10 years. So in a way it's in the early stages and I think for that reason I would like to try different ways of doing this um, and just see what works for me because I think everyone's different. Iodine has such a huge impact on all parts of the body, every single cell, that some people get symptoms of one in one part of the body and some people in another. I'm, do, I'm just trying to see what works for me. So if you've been using Lugol's iodine and have found it's worked for you or maybe it hasn't worked, I'd love to hear your experience. And also, um, I'd be interested to hear how other people apply Lugol's, you know, whether they apply it on their wrists or on their throat or other parts of the body. So if you've experience of using Lugol's um, or other types of iodine, please write a comment below. If you've enjoyed watching this video, and would like to see more like this, please click the button below to subscribe. Thanks for watching.